I'm standing here with Jonas Söderström. He's an information architect at the InUse here in Stockholm. Uh, I'm a bit curious about what you think about the seminar today. It was a different issue. Some of them was fairly political. Uh, cultural her heritage information is sometimes locked in. Uh, what should we do about it? Well, you should release it, of course. <laughs> you should release it and you should also make it possible for people to contribute to uh, the collections, the data, the information, uh, crowdsourcing of this kind of, of collecting the, the... It's a collective memory of the people. It's a collective memory of, of the nation and that is a um, strong political force. It is, it's a strong political thing that can be used uh, as a progressive uh, weapon, I should almost say, as, as a strong progressive force in the transformation of society, uh, lest we don't forget the, the heritage we have, the, 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 the place we come from, and also that we don't let the past be exploited by petty nationalism, uh, narrow-minded nationalism. That that uh, let let us open open it up. Uh, let's see that all of Europe actually is was networked. I mean, we we have the internet today, but it was networked even in the Middle Ages. It was networked in the Bronze Ages. We see the, the things we find today in the earth, the things we dig up. I mean, there's coins from Afghanistan uh, in the soil of, of Gotland, the, the island in the Baltic where I come from. These threads, these, this network, it's ancient and, and it's people were connected. Uh, nationalism is, is something new <laughs> in this in this respect, and I, I think we have. Uh, it might sound a bit utopian, but I think we have a real chance here of breaking down national borders, breaking down petty nationalism, and, and create a new ne network, a universal network, a global network. Here. So you think it's uh, some kind of this? Uh, what should we call it? Uh, dark forces that is uh, the. Air uh, the, the arena is open for them, or, or, or is that what you're saying? Uh, well, well, could be, but but um, I mean the counterforce, the positive counterforce of crowdsourcing of real people um, doing real things is is also um, there. there. There's a possibility for us to do very good things, doing good through being connected, uh, counteracting the, the evil forces. I mean, the evil forces almost always want to shut down the lock-in, uh, keeping things. That's, that's evil. Uh, and the good thing is to, to open up, <laughs> to, to give access. So, so what I, I think I'm hearing is that the, this inter institutional perspective, nationalistic perspective on databases and web applications and so forth is some kind of 18th century romantic nationalistic uh, ideology or? Yeah, yeah, 18th century, 19th century perhaps or something like that. Yeah, I think it's, 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 it's time to throw that out. It's time to, to return to the open network. <laughs> The open network of the Bronze Age, perhaps. I don't know. Well, let's say, let's say so. Uh, but um, well, no. Uh, actually, the, the we see that that petty nationalism is is a force. It, it's it's a it's a tool that dictatorships uh, use for for their evil motives and and opening up. Uh, Putting an end to that is, is, is a good thing in, in all respects. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I think we say, end up this interview, we say, and let's go a little bit Bronze Age. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yeah.